Hello friends, this is John Hosick and I'm coming to you today with a fun technique. We're going to do some fun twisted sister wire work. And I think you're going to really love this product and the way we work with it. We're going to be working with Smithers Oasis aluminum wire. And the very first time I worked with this product was a billion years ago, it seems like. A good friend of mine, her name was Wendy Andrade. She and I were working with the product and she's on the other side of the pond. Um, from the UK and I said Wendy would you hand me the aluminum she's like what I go hand me the aluminum hence the English accent and she goes Hosek that's aluminium and I'm like ooh, aluminium sounds so much better and richer and more beautiful so today we're gonna to be working with some aluminium which makes it very fun so we're gonna put a little bag of goodies off here to the side and what we're going to do is we're gonna cut ourselves off a couple sections I'm gonna say maybe three foot in length two, three foot, and we can, you can make it whatever size you'd really like to make it. Um, but on this one, I'm gonna cut a couple gold, and I also have a beautiful uh, red amber color. So we're gonna take one of that. So I'm doing three, you can do more than three, but for this application, I'm just gonna do the three of them. And what's gonna be nice about this, I'm gonna show you in some other YouTube things coming up, um, different ways we can do these techniques and what we can do with them, which makes it very, very fun. So when we're working with aluminum, um, what we want to make sure is they're all nice and smooth and stacked. And I'm going to use the warmth of my fingers to be able to smooth these out a little bit to make them a little more malleable and just nice. So if you notice here, I have the red in the center and I've got the gold on each side. I want to change it up a little bit to make it a little bit more fun. So I'm going to put the red on the outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my first little bends. And it doesn't have to be equal, but you can see there's a little bit of different edges that they're not quite the same distance. I'm going to bend this first loop so that they're stacked on top of each other. So they're stacked parallel. So you can see the red, gold, gold. So it just gives you this wonderful stack. So what I need to do now is I need to lock these little kids together. So I'm going to there again, I'm using the warmth of my fingers just to keep these pieces of aluminum warmed up. And I want to make sure that they stay parallel with each other and try to hold the axis point where that first turn starting to happen. So as we have these, you can see that what we're going to do is we're going to use tension to hold them together and to lock them into place. So as we do that, we start getting these wonderful loops as they start playing back and forth. So this one I want to get my loop on. So I've got a loop going this direction. So I'm going to bring a loop on this opposite side. So I'm going to bring this little trooper up and again keeping them smooth you're going to start seeing these beautiful rhythms starting to play back and forth with the design and again i'm going to lock that one down and going under and to create my vacillation back and forth with each one of these i'm going to go back on this side and go under and again keep warming it up with your hands to make sure that the aluminium stays smooth I just love this technique. It really gives us so many wonderful applications to be able to do um, with the aluminum. And you can create big loops, little loops, and really some fun um, different dimensions to it, but it just gives you such a beautiful rhythm. And I love this color combination together. So again, I wanna bring a loop on this other side. So again, make sure they stay parallel and flat with each other. And it's basically an interlocking going up on the top and down on the bottom to keep them back and forth. So you can see I'm going back and forth. So if I want to loop on this one, I'm going to bring this one go under. And again, keeping them warm, keeping them so that they're stacked right on top of each other. I mean, look how beautiful that's turning into. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Back and forth, back and forth. And look how beautiful the red so to make it just a little bit different, the red is like framing the gold as it goes through there. So I'm going to twist this one down under through here. And you can see how nicely it's locking together. It's not coming apart. But you noticed a couple of my pieces of the aluminum are at different lengths. So were these a little bit shorter, a little bit longer? And I'm not really worried about that because um, I'm going to actually end up coiling them up. But I've got a, a lot of long ones here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring these little kids up and under. And again, keeping them parallel and stacked. And use the warmth of your fingers. I mean, look how fun 
that becomes this beautiful piece of jewelry. And I'm gonna do one more. I have a little bit more here. I can bring one more loop of these. And I'm not worried that they're at different lengths. I kind of like that variation of length. And if you've noticed, I got a couple of these little pieces that are they're sticking out a little bit loose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my needle nose pliers and I'm going to coil that so it just replicates that same rhythm right there. In the same way with this one, coil. And I'm gonna do the same with each one of these different ends so there's not a sharp end. Now sometimes what we can do is we can take our stem wrap and cover the ends of our needle nose pliers if we're worried about scratching our aluminum. So again, let's coil that one. Let's coil that one. And we're gonna use the warmth of our fingers to continue to make these coils um, a little bit, so we're getting this really nice smooth. And there again, taking the warmth of my fingers, see how nice that's starting to manipulate that down? And I just wanna change it up a little bit so you can see, I'm gonna swap this around on you. I'm gonna rotate that so that comes that direction and bring this one in just a little bit more. I'm just gonna kinda of cross those little lines a little bit, this one a little bit tighter. So it just kinda of gives me this wonderful succession of the loops. I mean, look how beautiful that is. That really gives you a great way to see the aluminum, a different twisted sister, so to speak. I mean, it would be a great piece of jewelry for like a guy's jacket, gluing a couple flowers to it. I mean, we could do some wonderful things. I mean, being so malleable, it could be a beautiful bracelet. I mean, so many different versatility pieces. You know, a bunch of these connected together for a beautiful bouquet collar, it would be absolutely wonderful. I would like to thank you today for tuning in to my station, and we're getting a lot more fun things coming up with Twisted Sister and with some Twisted Aluminium Wire. Thanks for tuning in.